Hi guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how to build this desert building. I don't really know what to call it, you can call it whatever you want. Um, I was just looking for builds to put in my desert world and I ended up coming up with this. I thought it looked quite cool so I thought I'll just make a quick tutorial on it. So these are the exact amount of each item that you're going to need. So cut sandstone, smooth sandstone, smooth sandstone stairs, cut sandstone slabs, some orange banners, some red sandstone walls, acacia fence, an acacia door, and some lanterns. To start off with, you're going to need a fairly decent sized space. Something like this will be more than enough. And we're going to take our cut sandstone and make the layer of the bottom floor. So first off, you're going to start and take your cut sandstone and place it down and leave three gaps in between and place another one. So as you can see, there's three spaces in between. And you're going to want to do this so you have six of these cut sandstone blocks in total. So now I have six of these blocks. I'm going to extend from the left out. One, two, three, and then place your cut sandstone. And then go three in and place one there. And I'm going to do this on the other side. So one, two, three, one, two, three. So from here, after you've gone in three, you're going to want to extend it forward. So one, two, three, and place there's three spaces in between. And then you're going to want to go out to the left. One, two, three. And yeah, I'm going to do the same on the other side. So one, two, three. One, two, three. And then from there, the last step on making the bottom base is to go out three from here. So one, two, three. And then from here, one, two, three. And then place a block like that. You should be left with something looking like this. It looks a bit confusing now, but it's just getting the outline of that bottom floor. So the next step is to go in with our smooth sandstone and sort of fill in the three blocks that we left in between. So this bit here is going to be the doorway. And we're just going to go in one, two, three. Fill in here and sort of go around all the edges and just fill it in with that smooth sandstone. You should now have something that looks like this. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna extend the entire of it three blocks higher. So it's gonna be four blocks tall in total. I'm gonna start off with the cut sandstone and just extend these three higher and then I'm gonna go in and fill with the smooth sandstone. So now we have the sort of pillars, we're going to call them extended up. We're now going to take our smooth sandstone and we're not going to completely fill it in as a block. So how we're going to fill it in is from the left or the right, doesn't really matter. Go up two more and extend that across. And you want to leave this middle block here free as it's going to be our window. And you're going to want to do that on every single one except for this back wall as there's going to be ladders going up it. So your building should now look like this and this is where we're going to go ahead and do the roofing of the first layer which is going to act as the flooring for the second layer so what we're going to do is make the flooring this fourth block so essentially that fourth block is our flooring so we're going to go ahead and just fill it all in like this and we're going to do it for the rest of the space
So now, as you can see, we've got our roofing slash flooring done. And now we can work on getting the second layer of the building done. So for this, we're going to go back to our cut sandstone and we're going to make some outlines again. So from here, we're going to take our cut sandstone and we're going to make some more outlines. So starting from this corner here. So basically, we're extending this pillar up again. Now it's not exactly the same to the first floor as we're going to cut out some of these um, squares to stagger it up to look like that. So from here, one, two, three. 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 And then just fill it in like that. So as you can see, we're now left with something like this. So these sort of like blocks these sort of squares these squares going diagonally should be left alone they're not going to be extended any higher and it should just be two in the middle one to the left and one to the right that's getting extended up so we're going to go ahead and make all these pillars four blocks high in total extending them by three So now we're left with the pillars at the right height we can now go and fill it in with smooth sandstone however it's going to be slightly different from the first floor so this front bit here is going to be a doorway same way it is as the bottom and this left bit and also this right bit are also going to be doorways so the way how we're going to do this is just put some smooth sandstone going across like that across the left one and across the right one. I recommend you do this before you go to fill in the rest of the pillars because it's just gonna remind you that those ones are gonna be doorways and the rest of them are gonna be like the bottom ones with windows. So I'm gonna go ahead and get those filled in now. So now we've got that all filled in, we can go ahead and do the roof of the second layer and then it's on to the third layer, which is the easiest layer of them to do because it's only one five by five block to build. So now we've got the second layer roof done. We can now go on to build in the third or final layer and it is so simple, honestly. Again, we're going to take our cut sandstone and we're going to make pillars on each of these corners. And that is it. And then obviously you go three like this and like that to make this square in the middle here. You're then going to extend these up by three, making them four blocks high in total. So now we're left with this, we can go ahead and fill them in. The only window we're going to be making is in the back wall. The rest of them are going to be doorways, just like this one. With your smooth sandstone, just basically fill them in like doorways for these ones. And then this one, we're going to make a window. Just like that. So now you've got the main bulk of it done. You've got the structure. Now it's just more about decorating it and making it look nice. To start off with, we're going to be making the banners for the doorways. It is honestly so simple, but this is where you're going to need your cut sandstone slabs. And we're going to go to the doorways. And what we're actually going to do is under where you've got the roof part of the doorway, you're going to take your cut sandstone slabs and put them underneath. And we also need to make a roof for here as well. I forgot to do that. Now what this essentially allows you to do is place two banners, so a banner on this block and a banner on this block, which is going to make it look like a doorway. I'm going to start off with the top one, place your banners across like that, and then on the slabs and you get this doorway here, which you can walk through and walk out. Pretty cool. I'm going to do that on each of your doorways. And 
and then we're going to go and repeat the process on the rest of the doorways. So now we've got our doorways done, we're going to go ahead and do the bottom door as it is quite different to the rest of them. It's going to be a physical door completely filled in so nothing can go through it unless you open the door. So you're going to take your smooth sandstone stairs, place one here, one here to create that angle and another one there. You are then going to take your smooth sandstone, fill it in there. And then take your acacia door. <laughs> if these mobs would like to get out of the way. And place it on the inside. So it's like this. So it doesn't look too weird. Against the stairs. You can of course place it on the other side. I just personally think it looks a bit weird. But it's personal preference. So now we've got the door done. I'm going to do some detailing around each layer of the building with some sandstone stairs. So what we're gonna do is place them upside down and basically just outline that top layer of the roof. You're now gonna repeat this process on the other two layers of the house, however, for these doorways, you're not going to place them there. You're going to leave it just for these sides. So it looks like that. Now with the top one you are actually going to place them next to the banners because it's only a one five by five we're going to need those there and fill those in like that because the lanterns are basically going to get placed on top of there so we kind of need that there. Now that we've got that done we can now go in with our red sandstone stairs and create it so we basically can't fall off it's going to create a barrier going around each of these little platforms as you can see on the build over there so you extend it out and then you come in just like that so you leave the stairs to have their own sort of space and i'm going to want to repeat it on every single floor so this is how the first or the top floor should look like when you're done and I'm now going to do the second floor and I'll be back when I'm done with that. So now you should be left with something looking like this and as for the bottom we're going to go straight for the doorway go all the way out and connect it with these pillars here. And then for the left side, go all the way out and connect it with these pillars here. From there, you should be left with this. And on each side of the pillars, we're going to make a sort of lamppost uh, where we're going to add some lanterns. So we're going to make it three blocks higher, so four blocks in total. And then just extend them out. You can do it at the back as well if you wanted to make it even. It will require two more lanterns than what I listed at the start of the video. But it's up to you how many of these you do. So now it's going to look like this. And our next step is going to be to add in the windows. For the windows we're going to be using some Ocasio fences. I just think it looks quite nice and it goes quite well with the red sandstone stairs and the acacia door along with the orange banners as well what you're doing here is going up to where you left your gaps and simply placing the fences in there and i think it looks quite nice so 
So now we're done with the doors, we can go ahead and put the lanterns in to light it up. It makes it look so much nicer and the lanterns are honestly such a great feature. They look so much nicer than the torches. So to start off with, we're going to have them dangling from our little lamppost that we've created. So they use three per lamppost and we have them on each side. From there, we're going to want to place them on each of the corners of these stairs just to give it a bit of light all around. So now that it's all lit up, our final step is to go ahead and grab some ladders. I'm going to go into the building. You also, if you would like to make this sort of like a doorway, you could grab some cut sandstone and add some banners in to make it like a walkthrough to have this as a separate part if you want. So we're going to go right in the middle. We're going to break a block and place our stairs so we can get up to the other floors place some more ladders and have that going all the way up to the top i forgot to add my window there but now that's pretty much done all that is really left to do is like the inside of the house which i'm going to show you how i personally think is best to do it so obviously you're going to grab your lanterns and we're going to go into the house now, as we have these sort of three by three sections, I think it makes more sense to put the lanterns in the middle as it just sort of makes it look quite even. So we can see we've got another three by three here. So the lantern would go there and it all just sort of lines up. have it we've now finished building it if you want to add a bit of detail to the front as it does look a little bit weird there what i recommend you do is take some smooth sandstone slabs and just build it across like that i think it makes it look just that little bit more nicer more nicer it makes it look that little bit nicer and um i think it really just completes the build makes it look a little bit more normal if you did like the video make sure to leave a like and subscribe i'm going to be coming out with some more minecraft content coming very soon